In this video, we will provide an introduction on how to create automated trades when price, trend line and technical analysis conditions are met for stocks and currencies. To begin, go to the charts tab and enter the symbol that you would like to develop an automated trading strategy for. For this example, I'm going to develop a strategy based on, shall we say, a one minute interval. So let's take a closer look at this chart to see if we can see any patterns that we could trade. I'm going to zoom in. So let's set a simple strategy whereby if the price falls below its moving average and then falls to further 10 pips, we lock in that profit. Or if it rises above and makes a 10 pip move, we lock in that profit. And in case it goes wrong, such as here, it rises above and then falls, then we'll put in a stop of 5 pips. So to begin, let us set up our opening trade. To do so, click on the alert type that we want. So the price rising above the moving average. So rather than send alert, we want to, this in this case, we want to simulate some Forex trades. I've previously set up some simulated trading accounts, such as this Forex demo account, where I can um, simul simulate my trades going forward. So as I said, when the price rises above GBP's moving average, I want to take a long position. So I want to buy to open a position. I would like to trade a 100k lot. I'm going to take the price that I can get at this point in time. So I have a choice of a market or a limit. But as I don't know what the price will be in the future, I have to accept a limit. I'm going to set up a limit order. So when this condition is met, I will buy to open a long position. I will take one lot, so 100k by one lot. I will take a market, the best price I can get in the market. And I want this rule to execute only if I have no position. The condition field allows you to set logic that will stop the trade from happening depending on whether or not you have a long position, a short position or no position. So if you select execute action, every time this rule is met, the trade will be executed. If you select if no position, execute action, that means that when the chart conditions are met, if you have no position, it will happen. If you happen to have a long or a short position when the chart is met, so if no position, execute action. You can say if I have a long position, so I've already bought but I haven't closed out that long position, then execute this trade again, shall we say, or if you have a short position, then execute this trade. And then you have if not long or if not short. So remember, you can be in one of three states. You can have a long position, you can have a short position, or you can have no position. So when you say if not long, that means if you either have no position or a short position, then execute this trade. So for this example, we're saying if we have no position, we want to buy to open a position. We would then like to make 10 pips based on the opening price. So I have a choice here. I can set my limit and my stop when this condition is met, when this trade executes. If I select price, then that means the price that I enter will be my limit and my stop. So for example, when it opens, I could say if the price rises above 1.6, then that's my limit sell. And if the price falls below 1.5, that's my limit stop. But as we don't know what the price or opening price will be in the future, we will use one of the change choices. So in this case, I want to make 10 pips profit. So based on the opening price, when this trade is executed, when the chart conditions are met, a limit order will automatically then be sent based on the change value that I enter. So in this case, I would like to make 10 pips profit. So if I buy at 1.5, then my limit order will be sent out of 1.5010. I'm also going to set up a limit order for change on a stop. So we said we want to protect our capital so we put in a five pip stop loss so based on the opening price a uh, stop price will be entered at five pips underneath that if you're dealing with shares it's the same logic it's the base currency that you're dealing with 
pence or dollars for example alternatively you can say percentage change so based on the opening price you can say I would like to make for example 1% so it takes the opening price and it adds 1% to that for a limit and it subtracts 1% for a stop for long positions and vice versa when dealing with short positions as we'll discuss in a moment I can then set up alerts that will notify me um, by SMS etc and um, when this trade is met let us enter a friendly message here so buy to open long GBP USD position and every time this happens I would like after the alert conditions are met go to sleep for shall we say one minute and then start checking again so we'll have a repeating continuous trading strategy going here to activate this trade this simulated trade in this example I click on activate I can save it I can pause nothing will happen the alert conditions will not be checked it will not be activated just save until you want to use it so let's activate now to make money when the price falls if the price falls below we would like to open up a sell or a short position so we're going to click on when the price falls below the moving average so this is our opening trade rather than get an alert we'd like to trade currency we're going to use the the forex demo account that we discussed before so this time rather than buying to open we would like to sell to open so sell to open a short position and once again we would like to trade 100k a lot we will execute the trade at market the best price we can get and as before if we have no position do this as before we would like to make 10% profit if the price falls and 5 pip stop loss just enter a change so sell to open short GBP USD position and as before after the conditions are met go to sleep and then start checking for them after one minute so let us take a look at another strategy so let's set up a trade that will buy or sell each time the RSI or switches from a long to a short position each time the RSI crosses 50 so to begin we'll set up our basic rule RSI shall we say rises above 50 should create a trigger so as before we want to execute a forex trade so this time we're going to say if the price rises above 50 we would like to execute a buy switch so what that means is if we're in a short position or a sell position we would buy to close the sell short position and then buy to open a long position if we didn't have a position when the buy switch was met so we had no position then we would simply buy to open so a switch executes or a buy switch executes a closing buy order and an opening buy order alternatively a sell switch executes a sell closing order and then a sell opening order okay so we're going to go for buy switch so when the price rises above we're going to trade 100k a lot execute and we're going to buy executed market and every time it happens just switch over okay so you don't care about um, if we're long or short we're always going to be switching from long to short positions every time this happens and you can say go to sleep again for one minute and then start checking again so we should just hit activate so we should just pause these rules okay now the second half of this by switch we want to um, switch to a sell position when the RSI falls below 50 So select your alert trigger we're going to trade 4x again we would like to sell switch so if we're in a long position when this rule is met or we have no position then we will sell to close the long position and then sell to open a short position and it's just going to execute this every time it happens we will now set the sleep period and activate the alert 